so time to do the brakes that I promised um, in the Hendon promenade fishing video. The first rig I'm going to do is the pulley dropper. I am going to do the pulley rig as well, but I'll do it as a separate video so it's not too long for you to watch. Um, so the things you'll need are some 60 pound line, well, appropriate line for whatever weight you cast. So we use 60 because we use 6 ounce legs. Some line for your snood length, I like to use 30 pound big game, the stuff's incredibly strong and it's just fantastic. Um, really good resistance for rocks um, and some line to do stop knots. I like to use something really visible. I'll just use that there. Um, I have no idea what it is. Uh, hooks. I like to use um, Sakumas in particular, Amanda Extras. Really strong, really sharp, stay sharp for ages. Just absolutely fantastic hoops. Um, you'll also need a cascade swivel, which are these little fellas here. You can see that. Um, as well as some beads and Gemini clips and the usual stuff for rig making. So, let's get cracking. So, I'll start with a 60 pound line first. And I usually like to go about two and a half to three foot. I don't like rigs that are too long. Uh, even though they do have their place and they can work really well. And the first thing you're going to want is your Gemini clip. When making these I like to start at the bottom of the rig and work my way up. Just tie your Gemini clip onto the bottom. Go and make sure your knot's tight. And the next thing you want is your impact shield. You don't have to use an impact shield, but they are pretty good. bead and a stop knot and what this is for is this stops that impact shield sliding too far up the line as it hits the water I'll show you the stop knot it's pretty simple so cross your line like so and wrap around six times Two, three, four, five, and six, and then make a loop. So that's what you have. And then go around six times again, but in the opposite direction you just done. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull the dog down snug. Wet it and pull it in tight. Using these stop knots is just a bit cheaper and a bit safer than using crimps. Crimps have a tendency to cut your line. A stop knot can burn the line if it's done too tight and you're sliding it up and down, but as a general rule of thumb, I much prefer the stop knot. Next thing you're going to need is yeah, some beads, a cascade swivel, and a couple of more standard swivels. So first a bead.
bead and then cascade swivel through this end being sure that this clip is pointing down towards your bead shield like so and another bead and then tying a swivel on at the end of that. Snook, back a line, put down, snook and you tag it off. And that is basically it. All that's left to do now is your snood length. So a big game line and you want to make sure your snood length is about three quarters the length so I'm going to get a cascade swivel I'm going to tie your snood length to that Because I'm doing a panel, I don't need a bait stop because the bait stop is just acts as a little barrier to stop the bait sliding right up your line. But if you if you're doing a panel, you've got two hooks, and that's what your top hook does. So what you now have, so just fix it up so you can see. Okay, so what you have now at the top of the rig, this be this swivel, sorry, is the swivel that connects to your main line. This swivel next to the little hook on the cascade swivel, like so. And then your hooks connect to your impact shield, like so. So what you have there is a streamlined rig for casting. comes loose on impact and what you have there is a hook length that's well away from the weight floating around in the water and as a fish pulls obviously this is up off your line 
to see the bite detection. Once the fish is hooked and you're reeling in, the line is going to lift the lead away from the seabed, minimizing the a chance of getting snagged on the way in with the fish and the fish behind it. Really, really good rig, worth learning. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again in the next one, which will be the poly rig.